Hello friends. Today I will discuss the drawbacks and uses of ruby laser. So today basically I will conclude the topic I have started that is the ruby laser. So this is the last article in the series of ruby laser that is the drawbacks and uses of ruby laser. First of all drawbacks of ruby laser. Uh, as a terminus of laser action is a ground state I have discussed in my last video lecture that is the spiking of ruby laser. It is difficult to maintain the population inversion. This fact results in ruby laser's low efficiency. The ruby laser requires a high power pumping source uh, because ruby laser requires the optical pumping, the xenon flash tube pumping, so it is a high power pumping source. So it results in heating of the operator. The major major disadvantage of ruby laser is that the laser output is not continuous but it occurs in the form of pulses of microsecond duration I have discussed in the spiking of ruby laser. Because ruby is a crystal, the defects due to crystalline imperfection are also present in ruby laser. Now uses of ruby laser. Ruby laser has very high output power of the order of 10 is per 4 10 is per 6 watts. It has wavelength of 6943 angstrom. Ruby lasers are used for holography, for industrial cutting and welding. So these are these are the few uses of the ruby laser. I hope you must have understood the advantages and disadvantages of ruby laser. For further reference, please search our website venusscience.com. Please subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubt, if you have any doubt, please mention in the comment section. Thank you.